Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, yeah guys, it's been a while since I have done a shop update and what is going on in the shop, what are we working on, that sort of thing and I got a bunch of colorful looking bugs in my shop uh, right now and I figured I'd stand up on my uh, top table here in the center of the shop and basically go around and, and talk about what we got going here. Um, we just had our annual fall foliage cruise. Um, it's October 23rd right now, so on the 19th we had our cruise. So some of these bugs are uh, sitting here from the cruise. Uh, but I uh, wanted to go around the shop and show you what we got going here. And uh, we can start off here in the corner. That's a 1956 oval window in Strato Silver. That's a numbers matching car. Uh, we're building this car for a client named Joe. and. Uh, yeah, we're going to be getting on that sucker pretty soon and uh, putting her together. And that had the, an original uh, dark blue interior with that. So uh, pretty interesting. And uh, Straddle Silver had some, some wacky colors uh, on the interior options. But, uh, you know, hey, it's, uh, it's all good. So, and of course, you guys know my 70 convertible. That's the convertible I built last year. Uh, that was also my wedding car. I uh, love that car. It drives awesome. 1641 motor. We uh, big board it. No machining of the block, just bigger pistons and cylinders, and give you just that extra little kick that you got there. So, and uh, coming back over here is, of course, my glorious 1954 convertible Beetle that we found from the original owner out in uh, Connecticut. Still waiting to get on this restoration, guys. I know a lot of people are saying, when are you going to get on it? But I'm just so busy. It's so hard for me to get on any of my own cars that I have these days. So, uh, that's another project of mine that I'm, I'm waiting to get going. So original seats are in that car and they're still intact. You could probably check, um, go back a few years on my YouTube channel when I did a road trip out to Connecticut to go get this car. Uh, you can go check that out. That's a very popular video. And coming along over here is my good friend Joe and his 1954 ragtop sunroof, semaphore car, hardtail lights. Uh, I built this car for Joe probably, I don't know, about three years ago. And he brought this on our full foliage cruise this past weekend. And he's got a radio in there that's 12 volt and uh, we need to get the radio working. And uh, he bought an up converter from 6 volt to go to 12 volt. So he's looking to get some radio work done on this. And as we come around over here, here's another car that I built. This is a 1965 uh, ruby red sedan that I built for an awesome guy named Hugh in upstate New York. And uh, he brought this down on a cruise day. Unfortunately, he had a little problem uh, driving down and he broke down on the highway so we're getting on that and it looks like uh, we might be going for a motor upgrade here and um, yeah just a beautiful car though I mean it was a body off restoration and uh, looking forward to updating his motor for him and, and getting him back on the road and what do we got over here this is a 62 turquoise car that you see in the corner here that I uh, find a bug program for a guy named Ralph that's in New York here, and we found this car up in Rochester, New York. Actually, the car called me. The guy called me up and said, hey, Chris, I got a beautiful 62 turquoise bug that's uh, been all restored and in really great shape, and uh, can you find it a good home? And luckily, I had someone on my list that uh, was looking for exactly that color, and uh, we found the bug for him. So anybody still looking to have a bug found for them, please give me a holler. I know I have on my website, but I'm not taking any submissions right now, but because uh, we are busy with builds, but uh, if I do find a moment, I can find something for you. And then up on the list is exactly another 62 uh, turquoise beetle, and this is a car that I'm building for a client that's out in California, and this is also a numbers matching car. We just did new floor pans on this car. If you check my Facebook page recently, you'll see the pans that we did on this car. The car's looking pretty good. Straight car, very solid, and uh, yep, going back bone stock, as you see. And right down here is my 1955 three-fold ragtop that I have yet to, to do yet. Uh, another one of those projects like my 54 convertible. Trying to find the time to get on it. Uh, this was an original Strato silver car. I know it looks red here, but on the inside you can see the, uh, the Strato on the dashboard and such. Uh, very cool car. Uh, looking forward to getting on that. Numbers matching top to bottom. Again, very difficult to find these car, these, uh, find this kind of car these days. Three-fold rag, not, not hacked up, not lowered, not chopped. 
not mismatching pan and things like that. And this was a California car and it sat since the early 80s. The woman who had this car drove from California to Virginia with her little pooch and uh, basically sat in the garage since the early 80s. And uh, the family called me up and said, hey, our car needs to go to a good home. Please go come take a look and take care of it. So really cool car. This is a bullet front fender car. So the turn signals are on the front fenders that you see there. Uh, no semaphores on this car, so it's a late 55, uh, but still kept the three-fold rag, the rib doors, and the batwing steering wheel. And then underneath the lift is uh, David Langs. Uh, I'm restoring two cars for him. He's got a 57 oval that we just sandblasted last week. And uh, now the 61 convertible is getting ready to also be blasted. Uh, so we're waiting on that. Uh, next time around for my blaster to come around and blast that car and then of course here is uh, Mike's 56 uh, two-fold ragtop oval window beetle same color as Joe's cars that I just showed you before and uh, yep basically waiting to be picked up to go to Texas it's all detailed ready to go miles already broken in Mike did go on a short vacation so there was a little bit of a time conflict there to deliver the car uh, so yeah it's it's waiting here ready to go and um, that's it guys uh, so this is what I have going on in the shop and I do have four cars actually outside under covers um, that are w awaiting restoration I got a 66 convertible that's my own and then we got a 62 uh, ragtop beetle uh, and then we got a 65 sedan uh, and there's one else out there that I'm forgetting <laughs> so it's early morning and uh, I'll have to refresh my memory when I look back out there but uh yeah, this is what's outside and uh, got a lot of work ahead of us. So uh, that's it, guys. Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com. If you've got any questions, got any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and like and all that jazz. And uh, I figured, yeah, I haven't done a shop update. What's going on inside our shop uh, lately? I used to do that pretty frequently. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys this video and see what you thought. I'd love to hear your comments. All right, guys. Take care.